my last minute uh, video of the day. I'm losing light, so I gotta do this kind of quick. Now, these are boards of my past. Boards that I owned, but haven't skated. I still kept them in their state, although they got a little banged up and scratched up during storage, but it's all good because it's, it's right here. And today we have Alva, John Thomas. Yes. Got a little sticker residue from something. Buy from the other boards. That's an, I mean, I'm sure it's be able to come off. But that's sticker residue cleaner, re, uh, redu, uh, sticker residue uh, remover. Yeah, other than that, I mean, this is pretty much a brand new deck. Uh, new old stock. Fortunately, it's got a few scuffs uh, due to storage. But it's pretty much in mint condition, except for that little scratch and the little dirt. Yeah, I was halfway, halfway gripping it. My brother was doing the grip tape. And then uh, all of a sudden I, I stopped this board due to the fact that there weren't that many around. And uh, my friends kept wanting to buy this board from me. So I was thinking, I'm like, what's up with that? I mean, John Thomas had a lot of models out there, but they wanted this particular one with his uh, color scheme. So I decided not to write it and just to, uh, you know, keep it, possibly uh, hang it. Back then, I, I still wanted to keep my boards as a, as a collective uh, uh, piece to hang or to keep as collection. Skateboards, I see it as art. Some people want to put up paintings and stuff. I This deck does it all, plus the shape. <laughs> Look how cool that looks on a wall. Look how cool it is. So I decided not to write it, but to keep it the way it was. Over oh, years, uh, it's just been sitting in, in storage. And then when I got the whole thing of like, my love of skateboarding and just kind of started to rekindle and collecting boards again. How can we not mention this awesome board? Look at that. It, it, it's a pretty cool board. Everybody remember skater John Thomas used to do that tuck me uh, air. He would tweak it out. That's what he was known for, to do the tuck me like air, like when you're launching off a ramp. And if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he was the one who created that exaggerated uh, tuck me that he did when he would launch off a ramp. So, there it is, Alva. Alva, you know, if, you, if you're watching this, Tony Alva, if you're watching this, and your whole company, re-release these boards. We release them. We have uh, a lot of uh, fans that, uh, of Alva. You know, you had a lot of cool writers. Release the board. John Thomas was cool. The, the Fred Smith, loud one. Cool. Eddie Redge, cool. Even the John Tom, uh, John Gibson, they had a John Gibson board, I believe. Albert. You know, uh, plenty of other great writers. If you know more Albert writers, leave in the comments. But uh, yeah, John Thomas is one. So it's left the way it is, just so I don't ruin the awesomeness of this board. Now just have a little patience and take off all that sticker residue or grip tape residue from the other boards that were swinging against it. But uh, finally got a, a sheath, plastic sheath to keep it protected. Definitely one of the wall of fame. Once I uh, redo the room and then a double B place. Right now everything is on hold due to the virus that's going around still. So I can't get my supplies to redo my room. 
for now, it's gonna have to wait. That's a project coming up. And then I'll set up my awesome boards and display. But for now, everything's gonna be on hold until things go back to normal. You know how it is. That's life, bro. All right, that's a good segue for me to get out of here. This is a really quick review. I wasn't really gonna try to do one today, but I thought I'd squeeze one in. Like, subscribe, comment. Hit that notification bell. It's uh, been fun doing these videos and I hope you guys really enjoyed this content because I know it's a small niche and, and I feel like the, the people that are with me, my subscribers now, are really into the board collecting and, and reminiscing about the old times and skateboarding in general. If that's you, go ahead and subscribe and join us and uh, you know leave comments about the board you had. If you had this particular board or any of the boards I've, I've uh, reviewed. You know, that's always cool to, to get feedback from the community, a uh, community of awesome, of like-minded people. It varies from every uh, walks of life. It doesn't have to be a particular set of persons. Uh, I welcome all. Anyways, I'm out of here and uh, have a good day. Oh, yeah.